guys, I am back and I wanted to uh, have a discussion about MMA judging and uh, how it's impact a lot of fights nowadays. And uh, yeah, I think that it's wrong sometimes, you know, because judging can be out of whack at times and I, I think it's just absurd, you know. Yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, welcome and uh, hit that subscribe button, throw those thumbs up. Yeah, man, I'm not even going to talk too much. Let's just get right to it. Alright guys, MMA judging to me, I think it's a little ridiculous nowadays, but just the way how some fights be going, like, for instance, like the fight between Ricky Tercios and uh, Brian Heaston, uh, Brady Heaston, um, Brady had a lot of takedowns, definitely took uh, Tercios down a whole bunch of times, I ain't gonna lie, but the only problem that I have with it, he just did absolutely nothing with it. You know, when it was standing, he was doing he was doing some work a little bit, you know, trying to match Ricky's uh intensity when he fights. You know, that was cool. You know, Ricky, you know, even he was taken down, he got back up. And even when he was down, throwing strikes, elbows, whatever he can throw, he was just the more active fighter between all three rounds of him being taken down and whatnot. Um, you know, even in the third, he dropped him, whatever, and he won, you know, and for me, I thought he won, you know, by a little bit, you know, I, I guess, you know, if you credit the takedowns as much as you do with anything else, I guess, you know, you get a split decision win for Ricky, depending on how you see it or whatnot. I thought Ricky won the five dollars, and, um. You know, that to me, I think is dumb. You know, their fights are pretty similar to that. You know, you got one person taking you down, and then the other person, even though, you know, you don't get points for getting up, but, like, you know, get up, or they they stuffed you down, or they've just been striking, and it's just sometimes it's just refereeing to be just out of whack, you know, and I, and I wish that it wasn't even like that. You know, I wish there was a, a different way of scoring takedowns and... And stuff like that and even submissions just even if it's not by a big old margin you know but like just to you know they got the boxing scoring you know you know winner gets a 10 the loser get a 9 unless it's like you know absolute beat down then it's a 10-8 round you know or 10-7 depending on how many times you're dropping them you know i just think that the rule i think the uh the rules and the way judging goes i think it needs to be you know, change in the long run, you know, sooner than later, because the judging is hurting a lot of these fighters out there that put their blood, sweat, tears, and, and injuries for them to come and fight and give 100%. And, you know, when people think that they won, and then at the end of the day, they didn't. You know, I've seen a lot of fights over the years that I thought that could have swing either way, but then when, then when I'm thinking about it, you know, I'm just like, you know what? And I was like, yeah, I think I think he won. You know, and I always go back later on to, to check out the next day or whatnot and check out the fight to see how it went. And the times I'm like, okay, he won, so what's the big, uh, like, what did he really do? Like, I just finished watching Max Holloway versus Volkanovski too, not too long ago, again. And I still thought that Max Holloway won. You know, I that's that's a perfect example. Like, if you're gonna win fights off of Lakers the way Rokonowski did, I mean, he looked it good. You know, in the in the middle of the third of the third round, or even close to ending, and then the fourth and fifth or whatnot. You know, Max Holloway still looked it great, but I think Max Holloway had did enough to win the first early rounds in their fight that they had, and then, you know, I guess it was just a swing fight later on. But I, I thought. From what I'd seen a lot, uh, Roskanowski, the first three rounds, first three, two and a half rounds, he literally was throwing a lot of late kicks. You know, he landed punches and, and stuff like that, but it wasn't significant the way Max Holloway was. And he, Max Holloway dropped him like twice, so that should have been an even bigger margin, you know, and it, you know, that, it was just out the door. That didn't mean crap to anybody, to the judges. I don't know what fight the judges were watching. 
You know, and those are the little things there that just gets me so frustrated when it comes to the judging. You know, I feel like when it comes to people taking you down and just holding you down and then grinding out a victory like that, it's so, I mean, it's so boring. But I feel like, you know, and then if you have the other person on the bottom going for strikes and stuff, I feel like they should be credited for that too. A little more than just somebody holding you down for five minutes. You know, because I've seen wrestlers, especially wrestlers in the UFC sometimes, especially when they get tired, they just want to hold. That little energy they have is just to hold you down and then, like, you know, just because they're holding you down, throw a couple of strikes in there, you know, they win the fight. Like, that is so, I mean, they win the fight regardless, but I feel like that is so, I don't know. I feel like I feel like referees, if they see that it's not being too inactive, like, they just need to, like, literally do something with you know, because I honestly don't know what there is more to say. Like, they just need to work on their judging. And you get judges. I, I would like to have judges in MMA that know exactly what is going on. Because I feel like the judges that they they be having, they just don't know. You know, MMA is not a new sport, but it's kind of new when it comes to most of these judges. Because, you know, they're used to judging boxing fights. And stuff like that so it's a little different you know in mma you just got so much of a bigger element and so many things that can go into an mma fight you know grappling clinch control like there's so many things submission there's so many things that go into mma yeah they just need to change the way that they judge because at the end of the day you know, they don't get their win money if they lose, and especially if it's a close fight and people, you know, and it's a swing fight that can go either way between fighters. You know, they need to legit work on that, and hopefully they get it done in the future. And guys, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.